Well, one thing I knew was if Jenny, uh, that's my wife, uh, didn't think RVing was for her, well, she'd let me know in her own special way. Okay, maybe I overreacted, but my idea of roughing it is waiting more than 15 minutes for room service and camping. Well, I was a Girl Scout once, you know. I would say Jenny was interested, but had some minor concerns, so I suggested a tour. Okay, things were looking up. This I could camp in. Let's see, a real kitchen and a gas stove. Oh, I wish I had one at home, but Jack's so cheap. <gasps> a real refrigerator. I could tell she was answering the call of the old open road. Boy, there's so much more room than I expected. Oh my gosh. A real bathroom and shower. A master bedroom and enough space for my things. And Jack can use those storage compartments I saw on the outside. Yep, Jenny was thinking about my barbecue cooking, fresh air, go where you please, just a family out to see America. Absolutely, the kids will learn to commune with nature, become one with the forest, live among the plants and woodland creatures. <laughs> It'll give the kids more time with their father. I only hope they both survive. But seriously, I could spend some quality mom time, too, with my oldest daughter. She's 14, going on 30, if you know what I mean. Yeah, the kids will learn discipline, learn teamwork, come together as a finely honed camping machine. <laughs> Let me put it this way. Ever try to pack three bicycles and a windsurfer in the overhead compartment of a 747? Exactly. Whoever said you can't take it with you has never been RVing. Actually, the idea isn't a new one. And if you've ever packed for a family vacation, well, you know it's not unlike planning a military operation. Now the kids can bring all their favorite toys. And Jack, the biggest kid of them all, can too. I think it was a fair question. I told Jack I don't want it just hanging around the driveway, collecting dust. When I told Jenny that an RV isn't just for vacation time, we could use it for weekend getaways, tailgate parties at baseball games, stock car races, anything you could drive to. I said, okay, just as long as it doesn't include his mother's house. Anyway, when I told Jenny that I could handle driving or towing any RV, I could tell she had complete confidence in my abilities. I can't hold the towing line. We're going in. We're going in. We're going in. Don't get me wrong. I love Jack, but he's run over the trash cans twice this year. Still, Jenny thought maybe the guys down at the dealership might get a kick out of seeing the old master at work, so we went for a few test drives. I was amazed. Jack didn't hit a thing, not even a trash can. I tried it and it was easy. Automatic transmission, power steering, great visibility. Actually, it was kind of fun. And you don't need any kind of special license. Yeah, with Jenny still in all my professional driving skills, we move on to more important questions at hand. Well, look at it this way. First, you have to get to your vacation. Probably drive, maybe fly, right? Then there's accommodations. <laughs> then restaurants. And, of course, the tips. Okay, you get the point. Actually, when all is said and done, you'll save at least 50%. So your RV could pay for itself pretty darn quick. Hey. Good question, and it's very simple. There are thousands of RV dealerships nationwide, and they're all in the yellow pages. And the Go RVing dealers are especially tuned in to the first timers. Now let's talk about renting. Currently about 400 national chain outlets and local RV dealers offer rentals. There's no better way to decide what RV is best for you than to live in it for a week or a weekend. And don't forget to check out your local RV shows you'll have hundreds of RVs in one place, and that'll save you a lot of running around. No problem. Let the old master show you how. Oh, brother. A week ago, Jack didn't know a Type A from a typewriter. I think I'll help with this one, too. 
Okay, there are basically seven categories RVs fall into. They are as follows. Type A, B, C motorhomes, then there's travel trailers, then there's fifth wheel travel trailers, then there's folding camping trailers, and then there's truck camping. Whoa there, old master. Let's take them one at a time and show each one, please. Okay, okay, let's start with type A. First, it's a motorhome, which means, well, you have an engine in it. It has lights, heat, air conditioning, a generator, hot and cold running water, full kitchen with bathroom, bedroom, living room, the works. Thank you, Jack. I'll take it from here. The largest motorhomes are type A's. There's a spacious living and dining area, and many expand at the touch of a button for even more room. The kitchen is equipped like the one you have at home. Gas stove, an oven, microwave, refrigerator, freezer, and lots of storage space. Sometimes even a trash compactor. The bathroom area has a shower, but I've seen bathtubs too. A nice vanity and more storage. Now, type A's have a huge master bedroom, many with full closets. The living room, sofa, and dinette convert to more beds. The type A is designed for the average family to travel in complete comfort and style, but I've seen them sleep up to 10. This brings us to the Type B motorhome, or van camper. It might look something like a van, but that's where the similarities come to an end, my friend. It has all the comforts of a home in a compact size. Most have a full kitchen, I mean a stove, a refrigerator, a sink, even a microwave. There's a great bed for two and a fold-out for kids. These babies are set up for water, electric hookups, and wired for sound. Some have a bathroom, and yesterday I saw one with a shower. Hey. What more could you want? Ooh, how about Tom Cruise? You want cruise control? Forget it, Jack. Just forget it. This brings us to the Type C motorhome, affectionately called Mini Motorhome. It may not be as big as the biggest Type A, but it has all the comforts in an extra maneuverable package. A nice living area, same big kitchen, even a microwave, a bathroom with shower, big master bedroom with plenty of storage, and this great overhead sleeping compartment for the kids. And when you drive it, it feels like you're driving the family van. Introducing the folding camping trailer, sometimes known as the pop-up, or, hey buddy, what's that you're pulling behind your car? Jack, stick to the point. I was. My point is that with a folding camping trailer, you can tow it with the family car because, well, it's folded. The master speaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's how it works. First you unbuckle, then crank her up. Now extend the sides, they just slide out. And install the braces. Next, hook in the door and fire up the barbecue because you are done. Folding camping trailers are the least expensive of RVs and they're just plain cute. You can go bare bones, just the essentials like Room for four with a fold-out table, right up to room for eight with everything from a refrigerator, gas stove, bathroom, electric and water hookups, even air conditioning and heat. Next is the travel trailer. It comes in every size you can think of, from the Taj Mahal down to the size of Jack's paycheck. Hey, watch it there. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Anyway, the travel trailer has room to spare because space isn't taken up by a driving compartment and engine. You can get a huge living room and kitchen, plus a large bathroom and master bedroom, and plenty of fold-out beds for the whole crew. And since you tow it, you have your car, van, or truck to hop into for quick trips to the store. Very convenient indeed. Okay, say you already have a trusty pickup. Then all you need is something to go in the back, the truck camper. It's got great headroom, an overhead sleeping compartment like a Type C, and you can remove it from your vehicle when you're not using it like a trailer. There must be a million variations, everything from bare bones to sky's the limit. It's also one of the most economical ways to go. Last but certainly not least is the fifth wheel travel trailer, the USS Enterprise, the Battlestar Galactica of camping, space, the final frontier. Bogus, Jack. Okay, watch this. Need more space in the bedroom? Push a button. Feeling a little cramped in the living room? Push a button. Okay, you're out of control. I'll take it from here, space cadet. Most fifth wheels actually have a second floor bedroom above the tow vehicle. Plenty of storage space, all the amenities of a large travel trailer, and still leaves you the use of your truck. And speaking of truck, remember your vehicle must be equipped with a fifth wheel tow package. That's available from your dealer.
Here's the secret. What you're looking at isn't an RV, it's a second home. That's right. Lenders consider them as second homes because you can live in them. That means they qualify for long-term loans, like over 10 to 12 years. Some lenders offer even 15 years. It's like a mortgage, and with it comes all the tax benefits as well. Down payments are typically 10%, no more than 20. And don't forget, real deals can be had on used vehicles as well. When you shop for your RV, make sure it has this seal on the vehicle. It tells you that your dream machine is made by a member of the Recreation Vehicle Industry Association who builds to more than 500 specs for electrical, plumbing, heating, and fire safety. Remember, before you buy, check for that seal. Well, I must say, in the beginning, if you mentioned the word campground to me, certain images would come to mind. Boy, was I wrong. Pick the most beautiful parts of the country and you'll find incredible campgrounds right in the middle of all of them. They're like little towns full of interesting people with great kids. They've got pools, playgrounds, some are actual resorts with golf, tennis, spas, and unfortunately in Jack's case, even cable television. Yeah, Jenny said that she and the kids will really like campgrounds, and that's fine, but I'm an open road man myself. No schedule to keep. Stay as long as you get great reception on ESPN. On behalf of both Jen and I, we'd like to say thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the road. This video is presented by the Go RVing Coalition. Ooh, almost forgot. We put some clips of some great places to visit in your RV. And with more than 16,000 campgrounds and RV resorts from coast to coast, there's bound to be one nearby. Enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.